Now, fluid is constantly on the move. Unless it feels like, unless your ankles are swollen, then it doesn't feel like it moves anywhere. But fluid is generally on the move, and it moves three different ways. Active transport, diffusion, and osmosis. So we've got fluid constantly on the move. It's moving three ways. What are they? Active transport. Okay, let's walk through and look at what those look like. Now, active transport means it's kind of going against the stream. Makes you think of those salmon that go upstream, right? Because it moves from a higher concentration, a lower concentration, I'm sorry. Moves from a higher concentration. Could I try that again? Let me see if I can get you really mixed up before we go. Active transport requires energy. It moves from a lower concentration to a higher concentration. The molecules are moving against the concentration. Now, here's the good news. Now that I've got you confused about active transport, it's not the main one we're going to talk about today, okay? We're going to look at more on diffusion and osmosis. So let's get active transport out of the way, and let's move on. Osmosis is when water moves through selectively permeable membranes from a lower concentration of ions to a higher concentration of ions. So what's moving? Water. 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 And it's moving from a lower concentration to a higher concentration. So what it's trying to do is to get to homeostasis. That's why it, whatever it is, we talk about fluids being saltier, that means they have a higher concentration. The lower concentration will move toward that to try to bring everything back to normal. Okay, so fluid moves between the extracellular space and the, um, the intracellular space and the extracellular space, the intravascular and the extravascular. Okay, that's kind of where we're headed. So you're thinking, do we need a whole slide just for that? But when we say intracellular and extracellular, that means in the cell and out of the cell, in the circulation and out of circulation. Now, diffusion is a couple things. Um, hydrostatic pressure and oncotic pressure. And we're going to break those down and talk about what they are and exactly how they work. Okay, so diffusion is this passive movement of molecules across a membrane from what concentration? A higher concentration to a lower concentration.